Ramin with Ramin Digital and RaminDigital.com. I wanted to create a tutorial uh, for a for an audio visual lower third per se. Like in this case, a spinning record that is a loopable and it can go indefinitely as long as um, your audio or video track is. Uh, the intro that you saw is a little bit more complicated. It has a few other moving parts in it. So I'm gonna break this tutorial down to like maybe two three parts to show you every part of it. But to begin with, we, we're going to have to create a spinning, uh, a, a spinning record loop that you can be extended and continuous loop and continuous loop. So let's get started. So the first thing we've got to do, uh, create an um, audio track. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to put a background in here. Um, so at least we can see, see what's, what's going on in here. Okay. So then add another video track, maybe two or three video tracks in there. Now what I've done, I went to um, Google search and I just you know, looked for a record, vinyl record, PNG. You need to be PNG with a transparent background. There's all say, shapes and colors and everything like that. So I just picked one. So I'm gonna bring it down to my uh, timeline. You see, just a generic record with a little bit of thing. It doesn't do anything, you play it, and with the white, white background. So now what we wanna do, we wanna just add some text to it. Go into Media Generator, and uh, Sony has few text in it. Uh, you can always create your text with, with like Photoshop, make it all elaborate, push a logo and everything, however you want it to shape it, and bring that in as a PNG, drop it in there, or use Sony Vegas. Like in this case, since we have a circle, uh, there is a text it's called, you know, that, is, that is arced, so we can use that one. We'll drop it in there, but first of all, we make this, uh, make sure you um, make it to five seconds. So in this case, it's a sample text, so we're gonna change this thing to music. Okay, I'm gonna go to properties, Turn the background off to make it a transparent, okay? Uh, it's a little too big. I'm gonna make it a little smaller, make it like a 28 or maybe even a 36. Uh, move it, put it exactly where you wanted to put it. Actually, I'm gonna make it a 28. And with the placement, put it exactly on your record where you want to put it. I would put it on the top of here, okay? We'll leave that alone. Um, bring another text track on there and put your information in there. Like in this case, I'm gonna put Ramin Digital Audio, okay? It's too big because we wanted to fit it in there. I'll make it like an 18, uh, change the placement, bring it down, put it right in the white, it's still a little too big. Uh, just play around with different font, different shape, different whatever you want. Uh, change the text color to black, okay? And if you wanna, if you have a logo, you can bring your logo in there too and put it right on top of that thing. So make this track also five seconds. So that's pretty much uh, to create the record, whatever you wanted to put in there. Again, you can be as elaborate as you want, as, as simple as you want. So now we're gonna have to create a motion for this thing. We want it to spin and spin. And we just don't want it to spin, we, you don't want to create a, a, a template intro that is like five minutes long, just copy and paste, copy and paste. We made this one to like five seconds. So create a new uh, video track, select these three that you have and make them child of the parent, which is gonna be in this case now. Go into your fifth second, you know, this is the last, the, the five seconds, you see that? This, we made it only five seconds. So go to the five, open up your track motion, put an anchor in there and change the rotation to 359 degrees. Of course, you know, 360 degrees is a full circle, so 359 is just one degree below full circle. 
Now what you're going to see, you're going to see the thing spinning. And five seconds with 359 degrees, it gives you the speed of the thing. You can, you can make it faster. You can make this three seconds and 359 degrees. It will go much faster. Okay, so it ends right here. It's done. So what you can do, you select this track, this five seconds, minus the background. You render this thing to a, to a pre-clip. Okay. Once you're done, I'm just going to do it for as a... I already done that. I'm going to show you how it's going to work. So I've already rendered this thing into a pre-rendered clip. Okay. So now this thing, it just spins. Okay. It gets to the five seconds and it stops. Now the thing is, let me extend this one so you can see it. Now the, the good part about this, this looping that you can just drag this thing, extend it as much as you want. You see the little marks? That means there's one, two, there's three of them in there. So when it gets to the end of the five seconds, it just keeps going. It just keeps going and keeps going and keeps going and keeps going. Add your audio to it, add your video to it. I'm gonna follow up this thing with two more tutorials uh, to show you now how to resize this thing, put it as a lower third, add text, add some audio graphics, uh, audio visual, and album covers and so on like that. Again, please, uh, if you like this video, if you like this tutorial, ch uh, check me out at Ramin Digital on YouTube channel, like and subscribe. Thank you guys.